What's up guys, it's J Tim, and we have a special gameplay for you guys this week. Ryan Fitzpatrick, the veteran, is on the squad. We're going to compare him to Patrick Mahomes, and honestly, it really doesn't matter what the stats are. I mean, look at that beard, that fashion. I mean, it's no question. Fitzpatrick is the guy to lead our team to victory. Uh, taking a look at the rest of the lineup, we have Torrey Holt, Tyreek Hill, and D Donald Driver, 90 overall, as our receivers. Saquon Barkley and Phillip Lindsay holding it down in the backfield. We have elites across the board. Pretty good offensive line, about 85 overall everywhere. Uh, George Kittle and Zach Ertz at tight end. On defense, we've got Ryan Shazier, Lawrence Taylor, and Khalil Mack as our linebackers. Demarcus Lawrence, Kwan Short, and Reggie White on the D-line. And in the secondary, we have Mel Blunt, Pat Pete, Marshawn Lattimore, Ken Houston, and Adrian Amos. Also got Anthony Barr playing some sub-linebacker packages as well. So an 85 overall team, pretty solid. We're going to see if Fitzpatrick can lead us to victory. The real question is, when are they going to fix this top three stuff? Because that definitely is not my top three, and I am sure that that isn't his top three. But this isn't a video about top threes. This is a video about the GOAT Muck card. Ryan Fitzpatrick, 84 overall veteran, veteran of the game, veteran of swagger. Let's see what he can do for us on the field. I probably should have cut out that kickoff clip. wasn't very exciting. A little strong eye action. Luckily, we got a little bit of run defense figured out. Lattimore making the tackle for us. A lot of people running the ball this year. We just can't get there with Shazier. Come on, man. You got to poke that ball out. You got to hit him. You got to do something. You can't be letting Juju Smith-Schuster toast you like that. But at least Mel Blunt, good on the cleanup there. Second to 13 coming up. Devontae Freeman, textbook running into the defender there. Lawrence Taylor providing a wall. Third and 16 play action. Mayfield has nowhere to go. And Demarcus Lawrence with the strip sack. But Devontae Freeman picks it up and advances it somehow. Fourth to 19. He's going for it. This guy's crazy. Ken Houston with the interception. We went for the SWAT there, but we got the interception anyways. The one, the one time you don't want an interception, you finally get it. Barkley can't get anything. Great blocking there by my right tackle. Fitzpatrick, though, stepping back with a dime over the middle to Tyreek Hill. Fitzpatrick, beautiful start in his debut on the Mutt team. Saquon Barkley picking up a first down for us. Later on, Fitzpatrick dropping back. Pressure in his face. Gets rid of it. Missed an open read. We had another read on the right side of the field. We missed him as well. The pressure was there. Second and ten. Just your typical slants. Vintage slants. Vintage Fitzpatrick threading the needle. Third and four, going for the out route. And that is not the read we need to be making. Tyreek Hill, you got to make that tackle. Come on, man. And we are going to start down seven to zero as he's going to run around, celebrate like he did something. But that's okay, though. Fitzpatrick has a short memory. We'll be okay. Clean pocket later on. Tries to hit Marquise Brown. Our whole offense was tired at this point. So Marquise Brown, the fifth string wide receiver, is out there playing significant snaps. And Fitzpatrick going to force it. We test his user, and we fail the test. And Deion Jones picks it off. So Fitzpatrick not starting off so hot for us. Not playing like a veteran, playing more like a rookie. But it doesn't matter because when your opponent's making reads like that, you can pretty much make as many mistakes as you want, and you're still okay. Demarcus Lawrence flying off the edge, stopping the run there. Third and eight coming up for us. Fitzpatrick looking, trying to find a man, can't find anyone. He just dumps it off to Kittle. A missed hit stick, and Kittle going to get out of bounds and take a hit stick. Where's my flag, ref? Fitzpatrick stepping back and realizing, you know what? I got to put the team on my back as he throws a strike down the middle to Tyree Kill. That arm strength, that swagger, and that hurdle into the end zone. 6-0, to zero, pending the extra point. What could go wrong? Well, I'll tell you what could go wrong. Special teams coaching could go wrong. As we get our kick blocked and absolutely nothing going our way, Harrison Smith doesn't take it back on us. Later on, Saints get the ball back, still up one. And, yeah, I don't know about that one. 
Second and 10 coming up. Anthony Barr, the user over the middle. Everything's locked up. He's throwing across the field. Mel Blunt with a beautiful swat. Third and 10 coming up. Absolutely nothing's been open. Baker Mayfield can't find an open man as he throws right into Anthony Barr's arms. We finally get a turnover to go our way. Second and eight, Fitzpatrick stepping back in the pocket. Looking. He can't get the time he needs it. He gets laid out dead. He was baptized on that play. And the next play, he finds Tyreek Hill right down the field for another touchdown. We're clipping that. Ryan Fitzpatrick doesn't care about your thresholds. He doesn't care about your ratings. All he cares about is putting numbers up and wearing sunglasses to press conferences. 13-7 Packers with 17 seconds left in the half. Later on, Mayfield going to try to make something happen before the end of the half. And, I mean, I really wanted that pick. It's fine. It is what it is. Last play of the half, that is Lawrence Taylor coming off the edge screaming. He takes a timeout like he's going to do something. He just runs up the middle. Going to try to pad a stats for Muttmaster, I guess. So we're taking a 13-7 lead into halftime. We get the ball back. Fitzpatrick looking. He finds Torrey Holt on the sideline, threading the needle. First down, Packers. Later on, stepping back. He goes for the deep bomb again and makes a poor throw. Got a little excited there. That's okay because Mayfield's going to throw us a pick six right now. Shazier going to catch it, take 50 steps, and then spin into the end zone for a touchdown. Two-point conversion, no good. Devontae Freeman once again running right into the defense, doing us a favor. Play action, and Devin Bush on the blitz, absolutely murdering Baker Mayfield. Third and 15. Mayfield looking down the middle of the field, and that's a completion. I mean, Anthony Barr is 6'5", but I don't know about that one. First and 10, he's running a hurry-up offense. He's going to try to do something crazy again, I'm sure. He's trying to fight to try and juju. Lightning does not strike twice. Third and 13 coming up. Man covers down the field, and Baker Mayfield just misses his receiver. Fourth and 13, the pressure's coming. Forces a bad throw, and that's going to be a turnover on downs. Baker Mayfield... Only 4-14. Four you know who is doing well for us is Ryan Fitzpatrick, and he's got the legs. We missed like four open reads there, but it doesn't matter because we wanted to show off the legs. Second and six. Man, X was really wide open on that play. That sucks. George Kittle going to take the drag. Man, that could have been another highlight for the video. It is what it is. Third and three. Torrey Holt on the sideline. I mean, maybe Fitzpatrick didn't take the easy uh, completion. He just wanted to show off the legs. He wanted to show he can pass, he can run. Saquon Barkley with a spin move. The spin move is dead, but Saquon Barkley doesn't care about your dead spin move. Second and goal, Fitzpatrick with the intelligence to motion Donald Driver to the right side of the field, and he's going to toss it to Phillip Lindsay, the backup running back, with a juke move, and he's getting into the end zone to pad our lead even more. As Philip Lindsay pouring dirt on this guy's grave, it's going to be 26-7 with 13 seconds left in the third quarter. Chip the janitor going to really have to clean up his act if he wants to make a comeback in this game. Baker Mayfield is going to toss the ball right to Denzel Ward with the beautiful highlight interception. And as Denzel Ward grabs the interception, our opponent grabs the Wi-Fi cable and unplugs it experiencing network difficulties and that's going to be all she wrote a successful highlight driven and exciting debut for ryan fitzpatrick and just a reminder about the madden 20 nypb championship series our first game is going to be september 14th at 7 p.m down in not your parents basement 410 main street in racine wisconsin Pick your own team style. All paid entrants to the tournament are going to be entered into a drawing to win a copy of Madden 20 on a console they're choosing. That's a minimum of 10 entrants. It's $15 per tournament or it's $40 up front. You get entry into all four tournaments for the entire championship series. That's the best deal by far. We have prizes for the winner of each individual tournament. In addition to that, the winner of the entire championship series is going to get a jersey of their choice. So make sure you come on down to Not Your Parents' Basement on September 14th and check out the Madden Championship Series.